Anna Kendrick's first venture as a director, Woman of the Hour, takes on a chilling true crime story that's hard to believe but terrifyingly real. The film centers on Cheryl, played by Kendrick, a character closely modeled after Cheryl Bradshaw, a 28-year-old woman who appeared on the popular 1978 TV show, The Dating Game. Little did she know, the man she chose for a date, Rodney Alcala, was not only a convicted sex offender but also a serial killer. Kendrick, known for her comedic and dramatic acting roles, acknowledged the surprise many might feel about her choice for a directorial debut. However, what drew her in was the opportunity to subvert the typical police procedural narrative often dominated by male perspectives. On paper, this story was ready for Hollywood. A young detective solving the case, a determined prosecutor fighting for justice. But that felt emotionally dishonest, Kendrick explains. Instead, she chose to focus on the countless women who were victimized by Alcala.i in real life. Rodney Alcala was indeed a serial killer. He was caught in 1979 after a decade-long spree during which he is believed to have assaulted hundreds and murdered over 100 people. Alcala's downfall came after police discovered earrings belonging to one of his victims in a storage unit he had rented in Seattle. Although he was sentenced to death, he passed away from natural causes in 2021 at the age of 77. The movie also touches on Alcala's time at New York University, where he claimed to have studied with famed director Roman Polanski. Although Alcala did attend NYU, there is no evidence to suggest he ever met Polanski. During his time in New York, Alcala committed several heinous crimes under the alias John Berger, even seducing and killing a flight attendant, a crime depicted in the film. Kendrick also adds her own twist to the The Dating Game segment by allowing her character to challenge the show's sexist format. Cheryl's clever questions reveal the personalities of the bachelors, including Alcala, who ultimately wins her choice, though Bradshaw's instincts to avoid him likely saved her life.